Hi everyone, welcome back to Glitz and Glitter. Today I have a new product to try. Remember that Estoyo sent me uh, that package of 30 mica powders that I did with the Thinkers? And it had the uh, resin mixer in there and all kinds of stuff. That is the same company who reached out to me and asked if I would do a review on their resin kit. So I just got this in the mail a couple days ago, so I'm super excited to try it out. There is a link in the description if you end up liking what I'm doing, and I think it's a 10% uh, discount. So I will link that down there, and I think you'll get 10% off of any of their products, not just this product. So go and check out them. So I'm just going to open the box with you and see what we have in here because there's a lot of stuff in here to look at. So this looks like, let me grab a knife, it comes with a light. There's all kinds of things in here. My husband had opened the box and I'm like, stop, stop, I have to do this on the camera. So it's a small one, but it comes with the light. And it says 60, 90, and 150 seconds. So it has three three settings. Here's the cord. So we will get this hooked up because we are going to test this out today. Okay, and then obviously the resin right here. So here's the cap. Let's see. in there. Crystal clear, fast curing. Oh, so they just, they give you two, two bottles. This one is 200 milliliters and this one is 60 milliliters. So it looks like it's exactly the same thing. And then the two little nozzles for them. So maybe you could just refill the, uh, the little one. So they gave you a little set of, let me find some scissors here, a bunch of glitters. So all kinds of stuff to put in your UV resin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten different glitters of all different colors. So you will get those. And then this looks like glitter too, but I think this is just chunky in different colors than the other ones. So you'll get six little bit chunkier glitters. It comes with some resin tape. That's when you use these open back bezels, which they give you five of these. So you would put this on the tape so it doesn't leak underneath which we'll try, we'll do one of those. You've got a huge container of silver and gold leaf. This is so much, this will last me a very, very long time. So you got those. A little stirring cup and a stir stick with two different ends. So you can use that to stir your colors or your glitter. They give you a mold with pendants, so six different pendants. Here is some more same open back bezels. So I guess you get 10 open back bezels with the kit. And then you get the closed back hearts. Wow, there's a lot in this kit. So you can do a heart shaped. You get a pair of tweezers. Oh, you get little um, dried flowers. Not many. There's like one of each color in here. But that's nice. I love putting dried flowers in my jewelry. And you get some. Okay, you get keychains. Looks like six or eight. Earring and gold. Earring connectors. And the uh, little jump rings in gold. 
sprue connectors and some more jump rings. And then you get a whole bunch of the necklace. Um, you know, necklace, necklace cords. So you get a ton of these too. So you get a lot of stuff in this kit. Probably 20 of these at least. Yeah, probably about 20. I'm not going to count them. So that is everything in this kit. I did not expect to get all that. Honestly, I was expecting to get the UV resin and the light. Really, I didn't even know if it was going to come with the light, but wow. So this was a, a nice surprise. So I have all kinds of things to add to my collection. So now it's time to get started in testing it. I'm just going to start with some of their stuff. I'm not going to go too crazy today coming up with designs. I'm just going to use what they gave me. Um, some of what they gave me. I might add a few things. I'm going to try this one first. And I'm going to do a couple different color. Well, glitter. You guys know I like the glitter. I'm just going to... I wanted to do two color glitters in the same one. So I'm going to mix my blue and silver. Now I'm assuming... I usually layer mine. So I'm just going to layer it like I normally would. Finding a place for these once you cut them open is what I have a problem with because I need a little, I need to find a little container to put them in or tape them over. So I know like UV resin doesn't cure that well if it can't get through it, obviously. So I'm surprised of all the glitter that it comes with going to mix that up and use their little what did I do with it oh here it is the little stir stick to get it out these aren't the greatest but hey it's something right it needs to be a little more stiff so I'm just going to do a double side half glitter or half blue and half silver. Now don't forget to get up around the connector piece, otherwise you'll have no way to connect this once it's done. Oh, that was almost exactly the right amount. Let me grab a paper towel. Okay. We will see how long it takes to cure. I think the packaging said three to five minutes with their light. But this is a pretty thin layer. So I don't know that it's going to need three to five minutes. That almost actually filled it up, but I'll probably do a top coat anyway. Just kind of going to blend them a little bit. I will take a lighter and pop any bubbles because I really can't see them. They might be in there. Don't torch your molds. Okay, now I'm going to start with 60 seconds and see what happens. All right, 60 seconds is up. And it's pretty cured. I mean, it probably can go longer. It's a little soft, but it's, it's really not bad. So I'm going to go another 90. All right, after 90 more seconds, it's pretty cured. I haven't flipped it over yet, but I will cure it on the other side. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get the rest that I've mixed up and put it in here to fill it and then fill it with some more clear. Get it nice and domed. Actually, I don't know that this is going to come out. There's hardly anything in here. I was just trying to use up all the glitter that I've already used. I will fill it up with uh, clear, get a nice doming on there.
Okay, now both sides were done. Let's get this out of the mold and see how she looks. Matches my nails. How do you like that? Everything looks good. Everything is solid. I found a little pinch bale that I could use with it. So we'll put that on there. And one of you lucky people who end up ordering from me is going to end up with a really pretty pendant. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. It's perfectly clear. There's no bubbles in this at all. Even with the glitter, it, it cured right through. So let's try something else. And I'm like, what else can I do other than glitter? And I grabbed my shark's teeth. And I'm like, I could do shells in a shark's tooth because look at this big one here that has a large spot right here. I can put a shark's tooth in that and put some seashells around it. That would look kind of cool. I would have to layer it though. Oh, that's too, that one's too big. Too wide, I should say. It's got to stay underneath your... I have to find a flat one. That's, this might be a problem. Or I got to use a really, really teeny tiny tooth. These came from our local beach. Uh, friends of mine give me them to use in resin which is pretty amazing of them. They went through all this trouble finding these teeth and then they gave them to me. Well, I'm sure they have tons of them because I have a whole jar of them here. All right, I'm gonna use that one and I'm gonna put a layer of clear down first and then I have these little seashells that I think I will use. So let's put a layer of clear, oops, I don't want to lose you, a super thin layer, cure it, well I don't know if I need to cure it actually, maybe I'll just lay it in the, I don't know if this is going to work, I'm just trying this, let's get it everywhere. because the UV light obviously can't get through the shells and through the tooth, so we'll have to flip it over for sure. Needs a little bit more to have an even coat because you can see it uh, separating on the bottom when there's not enough, it will separate from itself. Now this one does not have a pendant holder, so I guess you just hook it on a chain. Like a, you know, a little thing here for a a pinch bale. It does not have, this is the only one that does not have it in this set. A little bit more. I guess I'll be adding some because I don't want to, I won't be able to add them after the fact. It'll be too thick. So we're going to put them right in here after I get my lighter. There's a few bubbles, not too bad really. Just right there. Let's see. So that's the front upside down. So this is the way, and I should have gloves on. I haven't touched it yet. I'm trying not to. There's a bubble right there. I think I got it. Okay, so he doesn't fully submerge. Let's get some shells. Oh, that's right. They gave tweezers with these. So just remember what your top and your bottom is. I'm not sure if these will fit in there or not. Mm, that one's too wide. I need some flat, flat seashells. That one, I might have to dome it a little extra. 
on the back. We shall see. Trying to find the tiniest ones I can. I should say the flattest. I don't know if this is going to work. <laughs> Let's see. Oh gosh, I don't know if I have tiny ones. Oh yeah, I do. Look, they fit. Oh my gosh. That one almost doesn't. We're going to put him up here. If I could grab it. Put him up there. Let's see, what do I have that's small? Um, too wide. About the side of it. One more. Let's see. Tiny little thing. Okay. Let's get this cured and see what happens. We'll do 90 seconds. Let's see. Yeah, that's cured in there. Oh, look, I got a bubble right here. That stinks. Wonder if uh, not gonna be able to fix that. I don't think. Wonder if I can. Yeah, that stinks really bad right by my shark's tooth. Let me see if I can, I wonder if I can get this shell out without ruining the whole thing. I'm probably gonna ruin this whole thing. Yeah, it's cured. See that hole right there? I don't want to even finish this one. It's not worth it. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, this side's not completely cured. Well, obviously it's not because... I wonder if I could fill it in from here. Let's try it. I'm going to... See if I could save this side. might be able to save this you guys I'm gonna dome this side and then do the other side again it's gonna take me a little while but that's okay I don't want to waste that shark's tooth then I'll see if I could pop it back in I'm gonna get this whole thing covered and fast forward you.
I cannot believe it, but I saved it. That bubble is gone. So I just top coated it and cured it. It, I think it's cured pretty good. I think I'm gonna try to put it back. Well, uh, yeah, I gotta put it back in here. Let me, I'm gonna put it under the curing light while I try to clean this out. I think I'm gonna try to back coat it with the gold leaf and see what happens. Let me clean this out. Because all of that was cured in there, I'm just taking some painter's tape and getting all the little bits out, which they came right out. Because I wanna put that back in here to get the back on because those shells are not covered up. So that's, that's all cleaned out. So let's see if we could shut, yep, you can shut that off if you're done with it. That looks really good. I'm so glad I was able to save it. I do not like to waste shark's teeth. Okay, I'm gonna put it back in the mold. I don't know if this is going to work. <laughs> We're definitely gonna try it. Okay. So it's sticking up higher because I added so much to the front. So let's see if I can, I don't know if this is gonna work. I gotta open this. Probably gonna go everywhere. Okay, so where's those tweezers? Let's see. Between the tweezers and a paintbrush. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> I'm going to just get gold leaf all along the back of this. Let's see if we can see the front to see if it'll look okay. Oh, that might look good. Okay, I will fast forward you because this will take me some time to get all this gold leaf. It's really foil, obviously. And uh, I'll come back when I'm ready to pour over this. I think I'm going to try putting some resin on here and see if that'll help hold it down. Can't use my paintbrush anymore though, but I can use this. I don't think this one's gonna work out, unfortunately, because I had to coat the top, so. Well, it's not too bad. I need to clean up these edges. The problem is the shells now stick out of the back, but I don't think it looks too bad. I could trim the edge or sand them down. But if you sand them, then you're getting a rough surface. Get this off and see what happens. Again, I don't like to waste my shark's teeth, so I do everything I can possible to make them work. I'm sure I can have Dawn sand me down the back a little bit. I'm wondering, because it's not gonna fit in the mold anymore. And my shells are a little high. See how that is? But I don't think it looks too bad. I think that looks super pretty, actually. I 
think I'm going to try to back coat it with a little bit of my shimmer. Sorry, my dog hears somebody pulling in my driveway. That's why he's barking. So, I think I'm going to try to back coat it with some, some shimmer of some sort. Hang on. I'm just going to put some in here. And I'm thinking my gold shimmer to go with the gold leaf. What do you think? I love this stuff. You don't need much at all. Getting it to stay on this lumpy back is the problem. Whoops, let me get you in. This is dry, so that's not gonna affect anything. Going to put it on top. So you might be able to see through those spots that didn't get the gold leaf with the shimmer. That's my idea anyway. Whether it works or not, we're, we're gonna find out. But this is extremely lumpy back here. So I don't know about giving this one away to you guys. So I might end up keeping this one. I don't like to give out things that are not as perfect as I can get them, even though nothing's perfect. I like it to be as close as possible, and this one is probably not going to be as close as possible. Lots of spots to fill in. <laughs> I'm sure I can stand down the back though, if I have to, so it doesn't have to be so thick. Let me try this first. All right, I think, I think it's really pretty. What do you think? It's still a little lumpy on the back. I've got this one shell right here that I would have to grind down with a Dremel, which I guess I can do that. It's really not a problem. I do need to trim up the edge right there, but overall, what do you think about that one? And then I'll just grab a necklace. So you just, I guess, hang it from a necklace like that because it doesn't have uh, an opening to put a little bezel in there. All right, that was number two. So those are the first two. Let's try one more. We'll do the open bezel one. So for an open bezel, if you have not done them, you're going to need some tape. Tape of your choice. They do sell this. A lot of them come with it. This is made for, oh, for jewelry. So I'm just gonna cut a little piece off. Not that piece. We're going to stick it down really well. Kind of go over it with like a stick or something to make sure it's pressed down really good. So you just put that on your piece. I'm going to grab my little... You just don't want it leaking, that's all. It's just to save, save you the trouble of extra trimming. Oh, okay. So this one, I'm thinking we'll use their little flower with, um, well actually that takes up the whole thing. Which color do I like? Maybe the pink one. I'm going to put a layer of UV resin in there. I think I'm going to cure it first. Not much, just a little bit. So I don't want the little flower to poke through. I'm just gonna spread that out. 
actually gonna see if I have some greenery that might fit in there with it while I cure this. Okay, let me go see what I got. I went through my dried flowers and I found this package of greenery, which already had this one broken off. So I'm thinking, well, actually I like that one too. So because that's gonna be the front, we're gonna put them upside down. So here's the front. It's gonna go like that. Just lay it in there. And yeah, I forgot to fold these over so it doesn't keep sticking to my fingers. So fold over your tape and then you won't have to keep fighting with it. So just fold it over. Hopefully I didn't just loosen it. Okay, so I'm gonna put, actually, first I'm gonna put my resin in there. Pop some bubbles. Where's my stick? see any but you never know now I'm going to put my flower in whoops sorry that is top so we're gonna put it in upside down it can create bubbles I can't help that because I didn't soak it first. I'm just going to put a little more over it. Hopefully that might help. Just get it completely in there. Actually, I'm going to put it towards the top. I think I'm going to snip off this piece here. Probably won't see much of it. Whoops. I want it to go this way. Yeah, you're probably not gonna see a whole lot of it, but that's all right. Let me get it in there. Submerge that one. You don't have to rush because the resin is not going to cure until you tell it to. I know we're so used to working on a time schedule. Okay, I'm gonna put a little more behind it. And get that cured. And we'll do a back coat of some sort. All right, so let's see if it's cured. Yep. I'm going to check it, make sure it's still good. There's a bubble right there. See that? Hopefully when I dome it on the front, it'll go away because there's a bubble right there too. So what I did is I took some UV resin and this glitter here that they sent me. I mixed that together, which is right here. I'm going to back coat it with this see how that looks. It's not easy to get out with this little stick thing. Get that spread. This one's going to take several layers. It's a pretty thick bezel. All right. I'm going to get that cured. Now, 
For the top layer, I'm going to mix up a little bit of my shimmer that I love. This stuff. Hopefully I didn't put too much in there because this stuff goes so far. So that should be almost done and I'm just going to take it off the tape because the back is, um, whoops, I state that. Don't put that by the light or it's going to cure in the little cup. So let's see. The back you want flat, obviously, that's going to be by your skin. That's nice and hard. And then the front, I'm just going to peel the tape off. Oh, that looks cute. And again, there's that little tiny bubble right there. I don't know if you could see it. But that's okay because I think it will fill in with this coat. I'm just going to try to get this out. And if it's too much glitter, I'll have to wipe it off because you won't be able to see the flower at this point. I'll probably do two layers on the top here. This one and then one with clear. And then it'll be cured from both sides and looks like I'm not gonna be able to fill that hole. Oh, I got it. You won't even see it. Perfect. Let me just pop some bubbles. I don't know if it's bubbles or if it's glitter. up for you. Zoom in. It almost looks like, almost looks like too much glitter. I think I'm going to take a little bit off. And then put more clear in. That's better. I am going to take it up over this metal. If it lets me, it might not let me. That looks better. All right, let's see what we got. All right, let's see what we got. We are done. It is not sticky at all. Looks pretty good. Nice and shiny. I think I could dome it again, but I won't do that and bore you with it. Um, let's get this off. Oh, that's the way the bezel, that's the seam on a bezel. Okay, whoops. So both sides are good. What do you think, guys? I think everything they gave us worked. The glitter worked. I didn't try the chunky glitter. Oops, side, which side? This side. Those are my three for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. Give them a try. Um, their mold did come out. I got some tape and I got the mold really clean again. So it's ready to go. I got all that gold leaf that was stuck on there off with some tape. I threw this under the curing light. That way I didn't have to wipe it out and you just peel off your piece of UV resin and clean that out. That way I will get all the, the glitter off. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's little test. Give them a try. If you want 10% off, go in my description box and use that link. Other than that, I will see you tomorrow. We didn't try these chunky glitters, but I bet they would work. There's some Halloween colors in there if you wanted to use those. And um, you guys all have a blessed day. I'll see you tomorrow. Stick around for some final picture so you can get a better look at them. All right, guys. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.